hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel growing orchids in jamaica today guys i am going to show you what i have been doing i have been making some adjustments to my garden because as you know our garden they are always under construction guys and so if you are new to my channel please subscribe so you see just how i grow orchids in jamaica and if you want to see just what i have been doing in my garden today just stay tuned So guys, this section of my garden, I have actually done it over. If you remember right here, I had some tires that I had repurposed. And in those tires, I actually had some spotoglottis orchids in them of different colors. And I had featured them once when one of them in particular had given me more than 13 spikes on that one plant so of course you know we like to change things up and so i decided that i needed to do a little facelift right here so one of the first thing i did i of course removed the plants from here and placed them in another area one of the reasons why i removed them is the fact that this area tend to get sun for almost the entire day and because of that the spotted glottis orchids even though yes they bloom but they require a lot of attention i have to be watering them a lot so that they remain moist and can really you know show what they are capable of so because of that i decided to move them and put them into an area where they are much cooler or an area that the sun will not affect them as much as it affected them here and that area well right now they are not in such a good condition because of course you move them and so eventually though i'm gonna set that area up and of course i'm gonna share with you exactly what i have done with that area so look here guys the first thing i did i of course removed all that was here and lay some ground covering and of course use a construction gravel to level off the area to make it look uniform and yes i have also included a few bromeliads in my arrangement guys yes this is a second time that i've had a bromeliad that actually blooms for me and i am so happy i am so excited and of course it's one of my favorite color of course it's a yellow one so of course you know how happy i am because of that right so right here i have just dropped in one or two bromeliads i really keep them in pots I deliberately keep them in the pots because they grow really fast and I don't have a lot of space right especially right here and so I do want to control the growth so in order to control the growth of these bromeliads I actually keep them in pots and here they are in this area guys yes so a few bromeliads that I just dropped in um incorporate them here so that they will you know give a little different texture a little different feel to the area and so forth and look here guys i actually got myself some of these concrete standing pedestal looking pots so these are concrete pots and they when they came they were actually this color here because of course they were recently done so that's 
how they came. And of course, I decided that I wanted to add some color to them. And so I color them in this earth tone color. And in those pots, I have planted some dendrobium orchids. I am here trying to acclimate them because right here they will actually be in the full sun and of course you know that they will get a little burn before and what is happening they have lost some of them have lost some leaves but look what is happening and i am so happy guys yes they are sending out new shoots and so that tells me that they are actually doing something and they are acclimatizing actually see this one is actually blooming it has on two spikes right there so something is happening with them i've also added a few more dendrobium orchids right to the back here yes right here they were blooming when i placed them here however the blooms are gone and since I've just really decided to to feature them you know so that you can see the before and the after once they have become established because of course you know I am going to be giving you updates as I go along so this is another pot here or another one of the arrangement with different colors dendrobium orchids as I did say in order for them to become acclimatized different things would have happened to their leaves some of the leaves would have been burnt some of them you know they just don't look as lush and as beautiful as they were when I placed them here but if you, I mean you just allow them to get distraught at least this once because right after they have recovered they are gonna be really putting on a stunning show right here this is another pot that i have here and if you notice the <laughs> it's actually blooming but the plants have lost most of the leaves right here i'm not yet seeing a new growth i am just keeping my fingers crossed guys that very soon because spring is close by in another month and a half we will go into spring and so i am just hoping that during that time i will see some difference in these plants this new section is actually right in front of my banda bed the one that i'd ask you guys to name for me so guys this is what is happening right now i will give you update as i go along and just showing you here from a different angle right so this is what it looks like those are my concrete pots and trust me guys these pots are really heavy so the truth is once i place them here I won't be able to move them I'm gonna need some good manpower to move them however I just have the confidence that they will do very well right here and especially because they are right in front of my gorgeous vanda bed and so they will get jealous <laughs> based on all the blooms and what is taking place in this bed So guys, in case you like what I am doing with this section of my garden, why don't you give me a thumbs up? And so you never miss another video. Please subscribe to my channel. And as we say in Jamaica, just follow back on me. This is the Orchid Duck and I am growing orchids in Manchester. Jamaica.